Axios published a series of, well, essentially hit pieces against an old executive order from late 2020 that was issued by President Trump um, called Schedule F. It essentially reassigns federal employees from a protected civil service class to a a political appointee class. It could result in about 50,000 federal employees being reassigned and perhaps then fired um, by the chief executive if if they're acting as ideologues. I guess uh, normally it's about 4,000 of the civil service employees or the political appointees that a president can replace. Here's my question for you, though. Um, Putting aside Schedule F for a second, is something like Schedule F even necessary? Or does the president of the United States in his role as chief executive, this is the executive branch, executive agencies, does the president have the authority to fire these employees at his will? So whether it's necessary or not, I think it's helpful. And and let's take several components of this problem. Let's start off with the political reality of government problem. There is such a thing as a deep state, which are embedded leftists, leftists that embed within career positions of the administration. And and by the way, the deep state, it is not a problem for both parties because almost all of the deep state are hardcore leftists, which means when there is a Republican president in office, they actively try to frustrate the priorities, the policy priorities of the president, the priorities that the American people voted on and elected. And particularly in the case of Donald Trump, they wage war on the president. So not only are they not doing their duty and carrying out their jobs, they're trying to undermine the elected president of the United States. We saw that at the Department of Justice. We saw that the FBI. We saw that in the intelligence community. As you know, I've got a book coming out in September that's called Justice Corrupted. Uh, how the left has weaponized our legal system. By the way, you ought to go on Amazon and pre-buy it. But Justice Corrupted talks about, there's a whole chapter on Crossfire Hurricane where you had these deep state leftists that, that from before Trump was elected, but especially after he was elected, they actively waged war and tried to destroy the presidency, right down to creating fraudulent documents and submitting them to the court. It, 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 uh, It is an enormous problem. So what the Trump White House was trying to solve with this executive order is getting rid of some of the hardcore partisans. Now, the reason it's not evenly balanced when Democrats are in office, these guys are leftists. So they're thrilled to carry out the crazy leftist priorities of of a Joe Biden or Barack Obama. So one side, the Democrats have their people embedded in millions of jobs in the federal government. When a Republican comes in, you put a few thousand political appointees in place and you have millions of people fighting against them, trying to frustrate everything they're trying to do. So it is a very real problem.